This image is captured using a Newtonian telescope with 100 mm diameter and 600 mm focal length. The image sensor is of course the Raspberry Pi HQ camera. The image is the best resolution in my experience. These are the previously captured images using a refractor telescope and a camera lens. Of course the refractive optics are designed to reduce the chromatic aberrations. I checked the focus in color channels and found that the Newtonian telescope has good focus frames in blue-green and red channels. On the other hand, refractive optics has blur frame in the red channel. This is a kind of shocking fact to know. The UHC filter I use to remove the light pollution has dual transmissive bands. The resulting color of passing the filter has all three color components of blue, green and red. It's just a bit off in the white balance. In order to capture a color frame in a light polluted area, a combination of reflective optics and a Raspberry Pi HQ camera might be a solution. So I got this. A toy telescope from Amazon. It costs like $50. I need to modify it to use with the Raspberry Pi HQ camera. In fact, it might be the right component to build a tiny observatory. Hi. I am going to explain what I presented in the digest part previously. Like I say it was kind of shocking to know. My conclusion might not be valid for everyone but it is useful for those trying to capture deep sky objects in urban sites. Telescope is my old Newtonian reflective optics. It's Mizar 100 SL. The diameter is 100 mm. And the focal length is 600 mm. So the F number is 6. The focusing mirror surface is parabolic. It's 40 years old but it still produces good images. The camera is a Raspberry Pi HQ camera. I use an HDMI cable extension. The Raspberry Pi 4 with a LCD panel. The filter I used is an UHC, ultra high contrast filter. This is the live screen capture of the Raspberry Pi LCD. The playback speed is 10 times faster. M42 is a quite bright deep sky object so the exposure time of 8 or 16 seconds is sufficient. The number of stack is 64. I retouched the stacked image with raw therapy in Windows 10. After saving it in a 32-bit floating-point format, let's see the image sharpness in all color channels separately. This is the image of the red channel. Then the blue and green channels are almost identical in terms of the sharpness. This is the image captured on another day with refractive optics. The lens is of course achromat so the chromatic aberration should be corrected. But the red channel image is very blurry. The blue and green channels are sharp. The focal point shift should not be this far for photographic optics. I am not saying that the refractive optics are useless. The cause is the transmitting wavelength of the UHC filter. Thus, removing light pollution is the fundamental problem. This is a spectrometer I made years ago. I designed it to check the filter performances. The grating is a transparent plastic from a DVD-R. I peeled and removed the recording layer so that only the grooved plastic can be used. The spectra are captured with APS-C cameras via 35mm lens. The spectrum of a LED light is this. It's a continuous color from blue to red. This is the spectrum of the same LED light through the UHC filter. You can see two bands only. The light blue and the red. The light blue is a mixture of blue and green. I would say the chromatic aberration should not be apparent with these two colors. On the other hand, 
The red is quite far. It's almost at the far end of the visible light wavelength. This gap between blue-green and the far red is the reason why we see the focus shift in refractive optics. The focus shift exists in the case without the filter. But there will also be focus images from orange and more reddish colors. They will make the focus closer to blue-green focus. By the way, here is the narrowband filter spectral characteristics. This is H-alpha filter and this is doubly ionized oxygen filter. Anyway I concluded that reflective optics is a better solution in my situation. So I got this. A toy Newtonian telescope. It was about $50 on Amazon. To remove the light pollution and to get a color image in a single frame. UHC filters or even quad band filters have to be used. The focal length of the first mirror is 200 millimeters. I know the field of view of the focal length on the HQ camera. It's ideal for M42 and similar. What's more, it's very compact. It's ideal to build a tiny observatory. However, the telescope is designed for eyepiece use. The focal plane is inside the draw tube. There is no way to place the HQ camera inside the tube. Modifying this telescope is my next mission in the future. I hope I get some images by this summer. It is very hard to accept the refractive lens imperfections after I made this many trials. But the facts are facts. So I will build a new system with reflective optics. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you next time.